What's up guys? How you all doing? Hey, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the Zemi Smart line of smart enabled devices. We've got a uh basically down light, we've got a light bulb, and we've got a dimmer module. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, we're gonna be putting it together in the Home Assistant app, so stay tuned. It's coming up right here, right now, on MI Sperry. Okay, so as the intro stated, we've got some interesting parts uh, delivered to me from our great sponsor at Zemi Smart. I hope I'm saying that right, Z-E-M-I, and then Smart, S-M-A-R-T. So I'll put a link down in the description where you can find the stuff. In fact, they gave me multiple links uh, for all the different pieces and parts that are here, as well as many more items uh, that you can check out. We're gonna be reviewing and testing and checking out some of these things. So first off, that's up the list is we're going to test out the light bulb. So we're going to open this up and uh, there it's basically one of those smart lamps. This one is actually available for a really good price. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Okay, so inside the box we get the lamp that has the smart uh, information in the bottom. This one I believe is Zigbee uh, compatible. So yep, it is the Zigbee smart light bulb. So you get a little set of uh, Instructions, you can download a specific app if you want to control this with its own app. Um, you got some QR codes and things, but we're not doing that. We're gonna control it with the Home Assistant. So, first thing we need to do is we need to power it up. So I'm gonna screw it into my little adapter here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just turn it on and power it up. So now it turns on really bright, wowee. Nice and bright. And now we're gonna move over to the Home Assistant and we're gonna check out how to get this thing programmed and working with our good old home assistant. So let's head over to the computer. Okay, so we're on to our uh, basically programming side of the home assistant. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna to try to keep this kind of like half so that way my, my video ain't in the way. So we're gonna go up here and we're first off, we gotta open up our menu and we're gonna come down to configuration. Once you get to configuration, there's your ZHA. Now, if you haven't seen my other video on how to add Zigbee to your device, I basically did a video, uh, I'll put a link somewhere, maybe we'll put a card or something uh, to check out that video and that shows you how to set up the uh, USB Zigbee uh, dongle that I used and whatnot. And once you have that created, that's where we're picking up right here. So go check that video out if you haven't seen that, if you wanna know how to hook that dongle up. So once that dongle is uh, connected and everything's going, you should have the ZHA in your configuration. You'll click that and we'll just come up here to add devices. Now, with that being powered up, we should be able to discover a new device. Now I did this previously, so I'm hoping that after I deleted it, it will find it again. So basically after it runs through that, it took me a minute, I had to actually reset the light bulb. So disclaimer, if you have to reset your light bulb, you have to turn it on, wait for it to just get bright enough, turn it off and turn it back on. And you have to do that, cycle it 10 times and it will blink blue and that will reset the bulb, okay? So <clears throat> just a little FYI there. But basically um, you now see it right here. So I'm gonna give it a name. I'm just gonna call it uh, desk. Bulb. And you can add it to an area if you do areas or things like that. So we've got that. So now the device is configured. It's all set up so you can see the initialize as it goes through. So now we can back up here. So now we should see both of them, desk bulb and then my Osram one, that's from that previous video. So now to actually get it onto your UI, we're gonna go to our overview and we're gonna go ahead and we're going to configure our UI. We're going to add a device down here in the corner. We're gonna choose a light. Um, the entity we're going to use is that phi bit or whatever, the one that we just put in, we'll call this desk bulb, like so, we're going to hit save, and then there we go. Okay, alright, so we've got it set up, I did, was able to get the video feed over here, so that way we can see it working. So let's go ahead and pull, whoa, not that, I want to pull this over. Um, pull over our uh, stuff here, so now we should be able to turn it on and off, so there's off. There's on, we should be able to dim control it. So we should be able to dim it. Awesome. And then one thing that I think is kind of cool about this one is you can click this little ellipse and it gives you the color palette. So you can make it whatever color you would like for it to be. Red, 
or let's see a type of green here, a type of green or a very dark blue. Or you can make it, you know, shades of white where it's a different color. And you can set the color temperature. You can make it very warm or you can make it really cool. So however you want to do it. So let's go ahead and check out some of the other dimming systems that they basically offered us. Okay, guys. So now we're going to take a look at the uh, next piece that we have, which is a 12 watt smart Zigbee 3.0 uh, RGBW downlight. So this is going to be a basic downlight. So let's go ahead and open this up. Nice little apparatus here it looks like it's got oh it's even got the dimming controller along with it oops i just knocked one end out all right so this guy looks like it has um, a little spot so you can uh put this down on here so you can snap this in looks like it's got little edges on it i don't know if you guys can see that zoom in it's got little uh basically little grooves on it so once you smush this down uh, it'll basically kind of hang on to the wire so it has a nice tight fit looks like it takes uh, just the line and the neutral so your two different uh, mains voltages uh, looks like it'll do 100 volts to 240 volts and it'll do 50 and 60 hertz so this will work uh, for those of you that are my European viewers or guys that live in areas where you have 50 hertz uh, like 240 volt systems and things like that looks like it'll work there as well looks like we got a little antenna on one end for the Zigbee as well as let me back up a little bit as well as looks like here's the LED portion now how this thing works they show that you really don't even need a box for this because this is low voltage this is the line voltage um, I would probably say no to that. I would probably put this piece in a box. This piece probably doesn't need to be in a box. The idea is, if I can use this as an example, is you will bend these little clips uh, out. They're very spring loaded, but you'll bend them out like this, and then you will stuff it into a hole that you can cut in your ceiling, okay? So, and then you feed basically this whole thing through, and then you will take this, get them to behave i'm gonna end up snapping my finger what do you want to bet it's gonna be like and i'll be like ouch okay oh looks like that's coming out well that's not real good design i would caution on this this little connector right here doesn't look like it's wanting to stay in there well i don't know maybe it just wasn't in there from the factory i don't know but one little thing so then this should go in here like so it should pull itself in there we go so as you can see, that's basically how it goes in. If you were to cut a hole in your ceiling, it snaps in just like that, and then that holds it rigidly in there. But if you have to get it out, you can pull real hard, and these will bend, and it'll come right back out. But I would suggest having some sort of an electrical box to put this in because, I mean, yeah, you're putting that in there. I just, I just worry about fire. I worry about fire. If this thing were to short out or something weird to happen, uh, you know, I just I don't know if I would trust it. So, and I mean, it's made in good old, you know, it's made in good old, yeah. So, I mean, it says that it's got the CE and whatever. I don't see any, uh, I mean, that's good for Canada and Europe and places like the ETL uh, for Europe. I don't see anything on here for UL uh, markings. So, I don't believe this is UL'd. So that's something that you might want to keep in mind as well, those of us that are here in America. Uh, there is no Underwriters Laboratory uh, certification on here. It looks like everybody else is there, but it's not UL'd. So I would say just be safe, throw it in a box, okay? Okay, so one thing that I do not like that I'm really saying is a problem is this connector. This guy, look, I mean, it just popped right out. This guy does not want to stay connected to this, and I really, really don't like that. So... I think they might be able to improve, maybe spend a couple bucks more and improve on this connector right here because this thing is kind of kind of atrocious. I'm going to try to jam this back in here. But it just it doesn't hook at all. So that's kind of a problem. Now, I know this is on the low voltage side, so it's probably not too big of a deal. Um, it's not like mains voltage um, is going through here, but just it would just... Sorry, I'm out of frame here. It would just be nice if that wouldn't just pop right back out. I mean, that would just be... It would just be nice. It's supposed to be a strain relief, uh, and that's going to strain, and it's going to break. So I'm going to go ahead and wire this up to my switch, and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I've got it all hooked up here. Got my wires put in, got the uh, little cable restraint pushed down. Everything seems to be hooked up, so let's go ahead and power it up. 
and see what we got. Wow, got a nice bright light. I'm assuming it's probably in pairing mode right now, so that's good. So nice and bright. So let's go ahead and add it to the Zigbee, shall we? Okay, so we're back uh, here at the computer. So we're going to go on down to configuration and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to hit ZHA, we're going to hit add device and we should be able to discover this new device. So we'll let this go ahead and pair. Looks like we found it. So here goes all the installation. There it is. So we've got 3A Smart Home DE. Oh boy, the naming of this is really wild. So I'm going to call this down down light that's what we're going to call this one uh polling current state so it looks like it's gathering all the necessary information so that's good so we should be able to back up now we should see that device in there so there's the down light that's good so let's go back to our overview uh let's go ahead and edit our ui oh we're already in the editing mode i didn't close it out okay so we're going to add add another light this one is going to be the 3A whatever. So this is going to be the down light. Okay, so we're going to save that. So, all right, so our down light is here. So let me see if I can scoot this over. And we'll switch gears here to the bench. Let's see if I can bring that up. All right, I can bring it up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry about that. I had to flip the screen around. I noticed that was actually upside down. So the last one was probably upside down as well. But in any case, so now that we have it, we should be able to turn it off. All right, we can turn it on. Super. We can also dim it. And it just behaves exactly like the other one. We should be able to change colors. Got blue. All right, we got yellow. And you can almost see the uh, the LEDs in there. So we got the different. We even have red. Oh, if I can get red. There's red. And then we even got magenta. So excellent. All right. So that is one that definitely uh, works really well. So that's a really nice little uh, one that you can put in. Uh, that's just a little down light. I don't know, something you could put in. The cool thing about this is you could probably put this in a bathroom. Uh, at least here in the United States, you know, we have the code and whatnot. And you have to have a lens over the top of a light bulb code-wise, National Electric code-wise, and things like that. Cool thing about this is that it's actually kind of low voltage. And it's just LEDs and it has the lens. So you'd be perfectly good putting that like as like a bathroom light. That could be, actually be kind of cool if you put it like over your shower. Because then you could have like blue light or red light. Or you could have like mood lighting in your shower. That could be actually kind of cool. And then, of course, you have the master uh, button up here. You can turn it off, um, which rolls everything up or turn it back on. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, guys. So that's pretty much it for the demo of all these different things. I want to shout out and thank our uh, friends at Zimmy Smart for uh, giving us all these neat little devices to review today. I saved one device that I figured you guys could review on your own, and it, it looks like I'm gonna be giving out a Zigbee Smart Light Dimmer. Basically what this is, I'll take it apart here real fast, is it's just a dimming module. So you basically hook it to whatever, you can hook it to any light or any uh, device and it will dim it. So I'm going to be giving this away as part of our great sponsor here, uh, Zimmy Smart. And I'm also gonna put some links down in the description to everything we got, but also I'm not done there. I'll give this away, but I will also give away the down light. So if you guys want one of your very own down lights here, is how you enter to win one of these two devices. I would like for you guys to put down in the description what you would do with either the down light or the smart LED light dimmer. What would you use this for? What project would you use this for? Please leave me a comment down there, or at least a non-offensive comment, down there in the comments section, and I will enter you in the drawing to receive either a down light or a smart LED light dimmer. So definitely leave those down in the comments because I'll be giving it away. Definitely check out the t-shirts. We've got the cool engineered t-shirts. We've got one for every discipline that's out there, or at least I think almost every one. There might be a couple I'm lacking. I will add them as I get time to make them. But definitely check the t-shirts out down there. If you haven't checked out the video on how to do the uh, the different uh, adding Zigbee, sorry, lost my brain, train of thought there for a minute. But uh, doing the Zigbee stuff, definitely check that out wherever I'll put it, I'll put it probably here somewhere, anywhere. 
Anyway, check that out so that way uh, you you learn how to add these different devices. It's very simple, pretty easy to do on the Home Assistant system, so uh, pretty good. Guys, there'll be new videos coming up. i got more Home Assistant stuff on its way as well as some other sponsored videos that ought to be pretty cool. Definitely check those links out down below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and definitely ring that bell because subscriptions really don't mean a whole lot anymore, so you need to ring the bell so that way uh, you get notified whenever these cool videos are out. All right, guys, that's all. Make sure you leave your comments down below for your chance to win one of these two devices and I will see you next time.